Today on The Daily Dose, Cleveland's burning river sparks an environmental revolution. During the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, fires were commonplace on rivers throughout the industrial heartland. Numerous rivers in Cleveland, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, and Detroit were seen as little more than dump sites for industrial waste until a fire on the Cuyahoga River caught the nation's attention in a way that made it the last river fire in America. When the fire made the August 1, 1969 edition of Time magazine, the event acted as a tipping point for young activist Americans who became increasingly vocal about the cavalier manner in which corporate America treated the nation's environment. While the river fire of June 22, 1969 was extinguished in less than a half hour, the Time magazine picture that galvanized Americans had actually occurred 17 years earlier, which did require fireboats to put out a massive surface burn. Overlooking the inaccuracies of the Time article, the piece outraged Americans, who in turn inspired state and federal leaders to respond with resolute political will. In Washington, D.C., legislators passed the National Environmental Policy Act of 1969 which President Richard Nixon signed into law on January 1, 1970. The act established the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, which in its first year of existence had a budget of $1.4 billion and an employee roster of 5,800. The cleanup of America's waterways and air quality would take years of steady pressure and fines against offending corporations who eventually responded with improved filtration technologies and smokestack scrubber systems to trap pollutants before they reach the environment. Today, air and water qualities have been largely restored to pre-industrial standards, although fossil fuel-inspired climate change continues to press humans for radical change. And there you have it. Cleveland's burning river sparks an environmental revolution. Today on The Daily Dose, get your nerd on with The Daily Dose and learn something new every day. Subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.